Okay, this is a quick one. How to get your old OP1 files onto your OP1 field. Uh, maybe this is something that everyone knows about already, but I couldn't find too much on the internet about it. Uh, and a few people told me that you couldn't do it, but you can. What you need to do is convert your old OP1 files, so they're AIF, to 32-bit WAV files. They need to be PCM, not float. So most DAWs are exporting stuff as 32-bit uh, float, but Audacity, which is free, you can download that from audacity.org or audacityteam.org, whatever it is. They export as WAV PCM 32-bit files. You can use that option. And then I just dragged and dropped it onto my field and it worked perfectly. One thing I did do before that though, was I recorded, uh, so four, six minute recordings. So on each track, I just played a loop for six minutes so that the tape files were six minutes long when I took them off uh, and then dragged the new six minute long sets from my old OP1 that had been converted from AIF to WAVE PCM, not float. Hope that helps.